Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. I remember looking at this thinking, yeah, this is going to be really, really good. You know, capacity is about the same. Anyway, um, we've got sea drills, we've got this trailers all over, and the one trailer in particular that I was really excited about, we got these three right here. They have autoload functions on them. Now, these are only two small ones. That one's for a lorry over there. There are a couple of others that have the autoload on them as well. They're not in that section. They are... Uh, bale loaders, I think. Over here. There we go. We got these two here, auto load ones. I don't know that there are any others in that pack. I think that's it. I think it's those two there. Um, and we can have them. And then you've got the auto load. What have we got? Design three, two, one. So that's your two designs on those. And then you've got this flat one here. Or you can put the ends on it. And these have the auto load, so we can put a load of pallets on there. A lot more pallets can go on that than we put on the current trailer that we've got, which will be useful, but I don't think we need to worry about it at the moment. So what we want to do on here is we want to start this one up. Let's go into there, and see so he's got a little engine of his own. Could do with a bit of repair, but we're not going to worry about that. We want to unfold it. That's about the only thing that you need to do to it, really. Fold bail wrapper, change cruise control, so you can drive it around if you want to. He doesn't really want to, that's because we've done that. But yeah, you, you can move it around a little bit. So we're going to leave that one started. Uh, park the... Oh yeah, I don't want the park vehicle bit. So we just leave the engine running like that, and we don't need to do anything else to it. So this tractor right here, I am now going to go and get our front loader on. And... If we've got one, go on up the road. I see if we've got one. We have got one. We want the weight as well. We'll put the weight on the back, and then we can carry two, possibly even three bales at once. I'm thinking it's probably going to be two bales at once. We should be able to carry them without too much trouble, so I'll go and pick you up like that. And then we'll go and get that grab on the front. We don't need to worry about selling any trees just yet. That's something that we will do at a later date. Oops. Be a bit careful here. There we go. Right. Put that one on there like that. And then I'll unhitch that bit. And I'll go and get that bail grab on. I really like this bail grab. I use this one in the time lapse series as well. And I'm not a big fan of doing too much loader work with tractors. I prefer to use a telehandler or a, a loading shovel. They're actually pretty good. What are they called in here? Wheel loader. I, I like using these. these. These are quite good for in the game at least and i have used these in real life as well and they are really good you've got amazing visibility with it it is really quite a comfortable job doing it you haven't got the reach that you got with a telehandler but they are really really good but i do prefer telehandlers and wheel loaders to doing stuff with the front loader on a tractor however so far in this game i haven't tried out any telehandlers or wheel loaders in the uh, the mess around one, the Elm Creek one, I've not really done any load of work. And this one, we've got a front loader and the time lapse I've just been sticking with the front loader at the moment. Right, so bales right here. We've got the smallest version of bale, which is a little bit different to what I've been doing previously. Which, I mean, that is in the, the time lapse series. But what I'm thinking that we can try is to take three bales at once. So I'll pick one up there, like that. And then I will go up here. And I can put the two bales next to each other by the look of it. If I'm a little bit careful. There. Kind of try and put them next to each other like that. But then what I'd like to do here is I'd like to get one more bale and I'd like to put it up on top. This is going to be the slightly more difficult bit. 
So I'm going to lift up that bale grab. The other option is to tip the bales up on their end and then pick them up with the grab like that. And that's quite, that's a much easier way to do it. When it comes to selling the silage bales, I'd like to, there we go, ideal, right. When it comes to selling the silage bales, what I'd like to do is, if I put that in there like that, that should hold all three of them. It does, and we can, yeah, okay, we're going to struggle to hold three, and realistically, yeah, that's what's going to happen if you try to reverse around a hill with a weight of bales on like this. Right, it's, it's not a good idea. We haven't got a heavy enough weight to do this, so I think in future, especially considering the hill I'm on. <laughs> considering the hill we're on, I'm, I've got my brakes on, sort of. Yeah, we, we definitely, we, we're not doing this in the future. This, this is not the, not the way to do it. I've just destroyed those bales. I've ripped all of the, the stuff off of them. And potentially, we could end up having a very serious accident doing this. Two bales at a time from here on in. I tip the bales up the other way when I'm handling them in the other series. Right, let's, let's drop that down there. And one bale at a time now. Just from these bits. But yeah, you, you, you really only want to be doing two bales at a time, I think. I don't think we can do any more than that. Right, so I'm not quite sure how this works. It's been a very long time since I actually used it. I think what we do is we place that on there like that. And then the bale itself comes off and it gets wrapped. And then it stays there and it doesn't move. So I don't know if it pushes the bales downhill or if the machine walks its way uphill off the bales. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. Let's go and take the next one. Oops. Right, we're definitely going to need to do that. I don't know what it's going to do with loading the bales, like how we're supposed to load these up. Try and put that one on there. So I'm going to leave it on the fork. It's not doing anything. Now that it's on the fork, it's not doing anything at all. So I'll back off of there. There. And now it's gathered it up. It takes that and it starts wrapping a little bit more. It gets to there. So we haven't had the bales push off down the edge yet. The next thing I'm going to do just to test this one out is we're going to put a bale this way up on it. It's a lot harder to pick a bale up, a round bale up this way round in real life, but it can be done. So I'll do that. And it does just automatically snap it. So at least you've got that. It does help us out a little bit. And now we're up to that point right there. And it's stopped. Right? It keeps sort of jumping itself around a bit. So we're going to go and get two more bales. This time, yeah, it's just two bales, I think, because trying to do three bales down this hill is definitely not a safe proposition. Um, the autoload trailers that are currently in the game don't have the code in them for round bales. However, the autoload script that the guy who has done it, like, he's on ModHub, not ModHub, on ModHoster, the external website, he has released the newest version of the script, and it's now got round bales in it. Now, I don't know if just having the script updated will mean that other trailers and so on will automatically get the changes applied. I don't think it does. I think you've actually got to make some changes yourself to your own script. Let's put the spikes into the bales. That doesn't work very well. Um, I think you've got to make some changes to, like, the, the trailers have got to be changed around a little bit. But what I'm hoping... Okay, that really doesn't work well, does it? Let's 
do that. And then we won't bother closing the spikes. Um, what I'm hoping is that by the time we want to come to sell these bales, we will have the updated script available and we'll be able to use an auto load trailer uh, that will load them properly. We do have an auto load. There is an auto load trailer available. I mean, I don't have to use an auto load trailer. I could just use this one and load the bales manually onto a trailer, which I might do. There is a trailer at the moment that we've got. There's at least one trailer that we've got at the moment. Uh, baler, not balers, sorry, uh, bail loaders right here. Uh, there is at least one trailer that has an auto load script, and that's these two trailers right here. They do have an auto load script built into them. But I don't like it. So you've got auto load there as an optional extra. I don't like it because those trailers you can't use straps. And when I use auto load, I like to load them onto the trailer, then unload the bales so that they're sitting on the trailer and strap them down. So that you've at least got the weight of the bales and that and you're moving them around. Whereas in um the I did that last time. Um with those auto load trailers you don't have that option you can't go and put the bales right, i gotta just come around here a minute and stop that bales just going to keep going right down to the bottom of the valley isn't it there we go um yeah you 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 can unload the bales onto the trailer but then you can't do anything else and i really really don't like that like there's no straps to hold them in place which means if you want to travel with the bales any distance you can't do it realistically okay it does move it up the field brilliant right so we will now have our sausage of bales and it will move up the field as we go along and I, I like that I think that's brilliant so we'll get the next bale on and then we've got to start moving more bales down so we could do this one of two ways. I can keep going up and getting two bales at a time and bringing them down. Or we could load a few onto a trailer and bring them down here. It might be better to load them onto a trailer. The, in real life, you can actually do this without bales as well. There is a machine that will do this with loose silage. And it will make a sausage of loose silage that you can put up through. You put, you put the grass into it as loose grass and it will make a sort of sausage of silage all the way up through. I've seen it being used only once, and the day after I was there, we were just bringing up, you use the trailer, and the trailer tips into the back of the machine, and it does a bit more. Apparently, the following day, when they were working on the second sausage that I wasn't involved with, um, the, they'd gotten about halfway along it, and the silage, the, the sheet split down at the far end and just split right away like halfway along it so it was a huge chunk it was nothing to do with us it was some faulty sheet or something like that i don't know exactly why um but yeah the <laughs> it was not good because there's nothing you can do you 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 can't really i don't think that they could patch it up i didn't i, I didn't sort of really ask for details i just remember them talking about how terrible it was that the thing had split and yeah it, it wasn't good you know i think we are going to go and get a trailer so let's lower the weight off here a minute we'll drop that one down there oh no we don't need to do that this one couldn't pull the trailer let's try out our new tractor see what this one's like we've got no weight on the front on this one at the moment but he should be all right to pull a little trailer we can put, even if we just put, say, six bales on it, we don't do any more than that. We'll tip the bales up onto their end, and then we'll do it, and then we can, once they're tipped up onto their end, we can drag them along. That should be all right to do. Okay, so we'll hook you onto there. And we will head off up here with our brand new tractor. Look at that one. So we get, we're, we're going to get six bales on here to start with, and we'll see how he copes with six bales. If we think we can do more than that, then we will do more. He's not going to cope with doing six bales if he's got to go uphill at any point by the look of it, because he's got an empty trailer right now, and he's struggling to get up that hill. So th this tractor is not really built for power, um, but he should be all right for doing some tasks. So we're going to bring it over here. I'm just going to put it on the side of the hill like that for a minute. And shut you off. And then 
Let's go and get the bales at the top first. Go and get this one. I think we'll do one at a time. Right? Rather than trying to be clever, let's do one bale at a time. And we're going to load them like this. So much easier to load them like this. And also, it should be noted that if you're going to load them like this, it is better to tip them out, or to tip them over while they're on the ground. Yes, I know in real life, just picking it up by one spike, the bale would be rotating and rolling around. Um, but we can overlook that a little bit. It's trying to slide off um, the spike right there. We can overlook that. I want it out this side a bit so that it's a little bit easier for me to load. We could, in theory, put 12 bales on here. Put a bale on there, like that. Right, and then I'll go and get another one. How well have we loaded that? That's pretty good, actually. I'm happy with that. So what we'll do this time is I'll grab that one there. And then I will reverse down the hill a little bit to here. And down onto the ground. And I'll grab that one. And then we're going to reverse down the hill with these two bales on. Like this. Oops. Start whizzing backwards too fast. And then I'm going to tip these two bales up like that. And then we'll do them one at a time and load them onto the trailer. So we'll do the far side of the trailer first. It's always safer, even if you are loading um, bales like this and you're loading both sides, it's always safer to load from the downhill side. If you are loading a trailer and you're loading it on the side of a hill, it's much safer to load the trailer, do both sides of the trailer from the downhill side. Much, much safer. You are far less likely to have an accident if you do it like this. Whether you're loading the bales this way up or the other way up, um, like because that trailer is pointing downhill ever so slightly, we could probably be loading them facing the other way without too much trouble. But th at least this load, we'll load them like this. So we're going we're gonna to load six bales onto this trailer. So there's another one. Like that. And what I'm going to do now is just to make sure that they stay on. I'm going to put those straps on like that. Now, I think I could probably squeeze them up a bit to put one more bale on the back so that we could have eight bales on the trailer. But I think that might be a little bit too heavy for that tractor. I don't really want to risk that. So, for now, we will do it like this. And on our next load, if he does all right, on our next load, we will try doing eight bales. And we'll also try loading them a little bit differently as well. And put that one down to there. So, this is the joy of not using a auto load, uh, using any kind of auto load feature. Is we do it like this. Now, fortunately, in the game, the straps stay exactly where they are, and you can go and put your bales or whatever through the straps like that without causing any problems, which is really, really good because it means that you can put things up against other things and it's all staying locked in place as you work, which is kind of what you want. So we'll put that one over like that. And then I do that, bring it on round, up here, let's just move it over a little bit, see if we can squeeze them up a bit tighter, there we go, do. that one is at the edge of the trader a bit. Yeah, that's better. There. Just needed it to be nudged over a little tiny bit. I think they may be hanging over the other side a little bit. There's not a lot that we can do about that. We'll put this one... Because what I was thinking for doing them, like, on their sides rather than on their ends like this, is we do six bales, as we've done now. 
with the bales on their sides and then we go to the end of the trailer and we put two more this way up on the back end of the trailer and it should just about fit I think they could squeeze up enough to fit but well I did think that but now I'm looking at it I'm thinking I really don't know if they would fit or not I'm trying to just nudge these up and see what kind of space we have for that no, they wouldn't. We, we wouldn't be able to do that. that. That wouldn't be an option. What you would be able to do is possibly put two of them over, but there isn't room for... I mean, I could possibly put one more on there. Uh, there's a little bit of overhang there. I tell you what, that's actually fairly evenly spaced on that trailer. So, take the straps off and put them back on again, and now we've got all six bales locked in place without any problem. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. We could put another couple of bales on top of there if we wanted to. I mean, if we got left, we got, there's, there's no more up there. So there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. There's thirteen bales left. I'm going to take two, which will mean we've got eleven left, and we're taking eight on this run. We could actually, on our next trip, take all the rest of the bales. We put six on the bottom line and we put three up on the next line which makes nine bales on the trailer which is a lot. That is a lot to ask of that little trailer and tractor and then we can take the last two with this one. So in theory we can do this with one more trip. Now there is a saying around where I live and I it I don't know how far and wide the saying is, but it's definitely a saying around where I live in the southwest of England, and that is a lazy horse would rather kill himself once and go twice. And that's what we're going to be doing on the next turn. We're going to take, rather than do this trip up and down the hill twice, we're going to be the lazy horse, and we're going to, it's basically, you, it's, it's like carrying in your shopping from your car, yeah? You, you load up as much of your shopping as you can possibly carry and I'm talking about loading up 25 bags in your two hands and carrying the whole lot all at once rather than going back and forth to your car twice. That is an absolute prime example of the lazy horse killing himself once rather than travelling twice. And that's what we will be doing. We will be going up that hill. We'll be loading up nine bales onto that trailer with that tiny little tractor on the front and then we'll be dragging them down here. I mean, in theory, what we should do is use this tractor to pull them. But we're not going to do that either. Let's just watch that one. He's, he's, he's traveling along quite nicely now and leaving that sausage of bales. I like this. I'm quite glad we got this one rather than the, um, the, the normal bale wrapper. I quite like this idea. Because once this is made into silage, once it's all finished, you sort of seal off the end, then it'll ferment for a while. And once the fermenting is all done, you then go and... There we go. Once the fermenting is all finished, you can then go and just open them up. But th there is a, a thing that you do, you, you go onto here and you, um, it, it basically it just seals off the outside edge of it and then it's finished. I don't know why it's doing that. It might just be because the bales are moving around a little bit. Let's go and get our other tractor. How are you going to cope with travelling down this hill with these six bales on? We're going to go over towards the trees because that's the, the gentlest slope. This is what we've got to look at now. We've got to assess the gentlest slope. We could probably put seven bales. Put one on his end, on this end. I reckon that we could put at least one more on there. Not that we'd need to. It might actually be better, because then we've only got two stuck up on the top, and that lowers the centre of gravity a bit more. And we'll just travel down here. He's actually going to be fine with this, because this hill isn't so bad. Coming down this bit, down this side, this isn't so bad. If we're going to do a farm track up to there, I think it's got to go round this way, rather than up the steep bit next to the sheds over there. And that's what we'll need to do. And I want this trailer facing in this direction, like this, right there. And we'll take those traps off now over to the tractor and we can start loading these bales so we just do these one at a time and fortunately with the game mechanics in place we don't actually need to worry about putting these bales the right way round in this bale wrapper we just got to bring them over near to it and dump them in so we can sort of do a little bit of testing with this if I bring this a sheet yep all I got to do is just sort of put it close ish I don't need to worry about it too much. It'll even take it off the spike for me. 
Does that mean that I can take two bales at once with this? Let's try that out, shall we? It's a little bit faster with the loading and the moving. So we can do two bales at once. So in order to do that... Whoop! Steady! These are very heavy bales. I love now how accurate it is with the weight of bales. Right, that's not what we want to do. That is absolutely not what we want to do. Tip that one in there. There. Okay, so two bales at once is probably not a good idea. And I forgot that that one does move back up the field as well. Let's go and get this one on here. So I think one sausage of bales. And then if we decide to do more silage for a later cut, say in August, uh, we could do another lot then. I asked you all a little while ago about um, what chicken house you thought that I should get. And we were looking at the chicken houses. There's the standard in-game one, which is a set price. Now, I always take it that the balance of the game is fairly reasonable. And so I kind of... I, I usually work my mods based on the balance of the game and what I consider acceptable. So some playthroughs I'm doing I don't really mind about that and, and the money is not such an issue but for something like this hardcore series I want it to reflect something that's a little bit more real and so I'm very cautious about taking mods that give me the same product as one of the in-game items but at a fraction of the cost there's got to be give and take on this and so I was looking at the chicken thing and there didn't really seem to be any downsides any penalties to the chicken pens and I will for those of you who don't remember or those of you who have no clue what I'm talking about let me go here and we go and have a look at the chicken because we're going to be getting chickens is what we want to get so we've got this one here is 79,000 euros now that's a big shiny shed it looks really amazing and it holds 360 chickens right big shiny shed it looks really amazing and we get a load of eggs out of it now there is this one here which is part of the Bavarian pack actually it's a lot grottier, it's, it's more run down, and this one also holds 360 chickens. My problem with it is it's only 9,000 euros. It is a fraction of the cost. It is slightly more than 10%, which is a really low price. Now, yes, admittedly, if you look at it, it's run down, and if you were buying this, there'd be a lot of work involved with putting that thing together, but... I don't believe there's very much in the way of maintenance for it compared to that one. I don't think there's a lot of difference between them for maintenance and that. Um, although most of you did actually say, no go for this one. It doesn't, you know, we've cobbled the thing together with what we could find. And yes, it's looking run down and grotty, but it's still serving the same purpose. And there may be some additional work involved, but it's not costing us extra money. So anybody that did respond to this actually said, yes, go for this one. Uh, don't worry about going for the more expensive version, even though the game itself, you know, is, it's nearly 10 times the price, eight times the price, whatever, nine, um, nine times the price almost nine uh but anyway so the general consensus was go for the cheap chicken pen and that would be unfortunately folks that is all we have got time for today a massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the great book of names to find out some more details about all the names coming past please head into the description and click on the link to the discord it's a link to another video the link is on the other video uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.